How you doing guys? My gaming addiction is back and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how you can repair the blinking light of death that happens to a lot of these uh, Super Nite or regular Nintendos I mean. Um, the regular Nintendo was actually one of the first systems I ever learned how to fix and ever since then I must have fixed at least 30 of them. Uh, doing this technique, uh, it works every time. I've never had a problem. I've never had anybody come back to me and say, oh it doesn't work with the exception of a couple of people that uh, uh, have come back to me and said, oh, this freezes and that, and mostly it's because they have dirty games that they, that they put into um, into the game system that I took a, a little bit to clean. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to remove uh, one, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, and six Phillips head screwdrivers. Use an old-fashioned uh, Phillips head screwdriver to get, uh, to remove uh, the, the screws because, um, if you use the newer models, like this, it doesn't go in. Okay, so an old fashioned Phillips head screwdriver. Alright, as soon as you get those out, pop them out. Top comes right off. I like to use this to keep all the screws in. Um, believe it or not, the majority of these screws are actually all the same. Uh, there's only a couple that uh, that are not, um, that are a little bit bigger than, uh, and I'll show you that in a minute, that are a little bit bigger. Uh, see, yeah, they're all gone. Oh, I seem to be missing two. Oh, there's one. Two, four, five, and where's the other one going? Ah, oh, there it is. Super. So, you're gonna get the top part off and then you have the heat shield. So there's one, two, three, four, five, right in there. Six, seven, eight screws all together. So remove those. Actually, let me show you the eight closer just so you guys can see it. It's right there, it's right here. Yeah. So I'm doing this by myself guys usually I have a cameraman, but unfortunately uh, Cameraman Rob does not live where I live anymore. He's moved out of town and I have to film all this shit by myself There you go he shields off Now there are, you have to take the deck part off, and there's one, two, three, four, five, and six screws. I'm gonna leave the silver ones in out for last. I'm gonna take those out last, uh, because they're the longest ones, and they're the ones that don't match uh, with the other ones, so, with the other screws that I have removed. Um, So, now we're taking the longer screws out. So, oh, move the camera. So these are the, uh, the screws. As you can tell, they are quite different. One's actually longer than another. The silver one, I mean. So, I know, I've done this multiple times, so I know to keep them away from the other screws, you know, to, to know where which one goes where. But, uh, you know, for if you're doing this for the first time, I suggest you uh, maybe remove them. So this, you're gonna have to pull up. It has teeth on the bottom of it. So make sure when you're putting it down, the teeth actually hit the motherboard and you can push it back. All right, now it's time to remove the, uh, this, okay. So that's gonna go over here. And this is the 72 pin connector right here. Now, in this area, you can go either way. You can either remove this and put a brand new 72 pin connector. eBay sells these for about um, 10, 15 bucks. They're pretty cheap. Um, but I didn't have time this uh, this time to uh, to buy a new one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to clean these so they can read games better. Um, you're gonna need two toothbrushes, Brasso, 50% uh, water and 50% rubbing alcohol. Something thin, like a credit card or like uh, something that's really thin. I'm, I'm using a iTunes card and a 100% cotton shirt. 
So the first thing you're gonna, okay. So now that you've got your uh, Simju pin connector out, um, basically what happens is um, over a period of time, a lot of corrosion and dirt uh, goes on to the 722 pin connector. Now, there's two ways that you can do this. You can either buy a brand new 722 pin connector or use the same one. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. In fact, um, Nintendo, uh, when they started this, uh, Nintendo, uh, when it started getting the blinking uh, light of death, they made this kind of uh, plastic thing that looks like a cartridge, but it's a cleaner. You basically um, just stick it in like so, and you just push it out like that. Uh, make sure there's like rubbing alcohol or something on there, like Windex to kind of clean the cleaners, but that's basically what you do. And um, that, that would, oh, you know, help you with your problem. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit uh, further than that. And now what I'm gonna do is basically um, grab a little bit of brass, so like you see right here, and uh, Um, and then I'm going to grab the um, other uh, brush and dump that in the 50 uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol and water. And basically just clean out all the uh, excess. Um, I like to grab this uh, card. Be careful when you're doing this. Do not shove this in um, because uh, if you shove the card really violently in and you pull it out, you can actually damage the pins and they'll uh, come. They'll uh, be pushed backwards and you'll fuck up your uh, 72 pin connector. So just gently like so. There you go like this. Gently. Okay. Don't just shove it in there. And look at all that. So it's gonna get a little bit, a uh, little bit of the stuff off first. So basically, like that. I'm just gonna let this dry now. We're going to concentrate on the motherboard, okay. and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, permanently stop this red light of death, and I've, I usually do this two ways. I uh, unplug the, mo the motherboard first, so pull it up, okay, it comes up. Oh, missed a screw. There was a screw hiding right over there. Just to let you guys know. I didn't mention that before. All right, so here it comes off. I like to um, basically take the metal building on the bottom part off. And uh, just pull on the blue tab. Then pull on the green tab. Make sure you remember where these go. Alright. So, there's the motherboard. Now what I like to do for the motherboard is clean right here. This part right here. Right, I'm going to show you how to disable the lockout chip as well in a bit, but I like to clean this part right here because it gets a lot of corrosion, a lot of, a lot of crap goes on there. So yet again, take your Brasso. Okay, like so. And just start cleaning.
And I mean, holy shit, look at all that. That's the corrosion that gets built up. It's pretty bad. Um, do this a couple of times. I like to do it maybe three, four times, eh, give or take, depending on how bad it is. Uh, Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that shit. Look at that. So, just one more time. All right, so now we're just gonna dry it off a little, take all that crap off. I mean, there, there's, like, literally, you can do this for hours, and the corrosion still will, you know, will fucking just come back. I, I've read, you know, multiple message boards that literally say that, you know, there's guys that have been doing this for hours upon hours, and the corrosion just fucking just keeps coming back. So, it, it helps out a bit. I mean, you know, it, it makes it all shiny, and, you know, look, look at that. It's really shiny. And uh, it makes better um, contact points with the, uh, with the 72 pin connector. Yeah, so I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I mean, it, a lot of stuff came off, as you can see. So, yet again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab 50% water, 50% rubbing alcohol. And just do the same thing we were doing with the, uh, with the uh, Brasso, and just get all that uh, Brasso off and all the uh, maybe uh, excess uh, Excess corrosion, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but. Just a ton of shit on this fucking thing. All right, now we're gonna dry it. All right, so looks all shiny, really nice. So now what we're gonna do is disabling the lockout chip. And for this, a lot of people like to use screwdrivers and stuff like that. What I like to use are mini diagonal pliers. They actually work really well. And uh, And uh, I like using them better because uh, with the other ones you can scratch your motherboard and fuck some shit up. So with this you just cut them and make sure they're mini diagonal pliers. So with this area, with this part facing you, you're going to find a chip. And let me turn the camera. You're going to find a chip that says, uh, let's see if I can find it over here. Yep, right there. That would be the... Uh, 3193A 1985 Nintendo chip right there. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna count from left to right and you're gonna count in four. So one, two, three, and four. And on the fourth one, you snip it. I can't really do this while I'm holding the camera and trying to show you guys, so I'm gonna snip it and I'm gonna show you how it looks. Um, that's Okay, so just shove these, uh, there's a little resistors here, just shove them back so they don't, uh, make sure you don't break them off or anything, but just pull them back like this. And one, two, three, and four. Oh, come on, fucker. Come on. There we go. Come on. 
man, my diagonal pliers are need to get sharpened. There we go. So there, it's off. All right. So as you can see, the fourth pin has been off. It's been cut, and now that should fix our blinking problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna put part of this back together. I'm not gonna put the entire thing back together. I'm, I'm gonna put part of it back together. And I'm gonna show you how it got fixed. So, basically, take all this, put it back the way you found it. Actually, maybe I should grab my, yeah be a wise thing to do. Okay. Just put the uh, all the stuff back together. Just remember where it went, right? When you took it apart. make sure the cables are down and uh, they're sitting right. So that's it for that part. By this time, this thing should have already dried. So, So that's in. Then uh, grab this. Remember, there's teeth on the bottom of this, so make sure it goes underneath the motherboard. Yeah, putting this thing back sometimes can be a bitch. start off with putting the screws on the deck first and when you're putting the screws back in guys um, don't uh, don't you know force it in you're not screwing it into metal you're screwing into plastic so be really really careful uh, when you're screwing in the um, the screws back into the system don't uh, don't over tighten them okay wow Pin, yes. Oh, 
happen. Okay, so this is how I'm just gonna leave it for now. All right, now my next part is gonna be showing you guys how to keep your games clean because this is a big part. About, I'd say 90% of the people that I come, that come back to me and say, hey, your system that you sold me and that you fixed doesn't work. 90% of that is the games are not clean. They don't clean the games. And yet again, what you're doing is I just put a brand new SIM 2 pin connector. I just cleaned this brand new SIM 2 pin connector and you're sticking a dirty game back in it. You're gonna have the exact same problems like you did before. So be smart about this. Um, I recommend you guys going onto eBay and getting a 4.5 and a 3.8 millimeter screw bit. Um, they go for about, I'd say about five bucks a piece. So you're gonna just open it up. I recommend it because a lot of systems actually need these. Uh, so, open it up like so. Open it up. Oh, what do you know? Look at that. It's Kirby. Yay! It's the motherboard right there. So, we're going to clean up the motherboard. And what? guess what? We're going to do it the exact same way that we clean that uh, silver stripe on the uh, motherboard on the uh, NES. So, basically, you're going to grab some Brasso like so. And you're going to clean your game cartridge like this. Corrosion. This is what makes your games freeze. This one's what fucks up your games is damn fucking corrosion. And you're just gonna fix it up like so. Look at all that. Just do one more time. Dry side. So now you're gonna grab your rubbing alcohol in water, 50-50, and and you're just gonna clean that off. So yeah, as soon as you're done that, just wipe all the uh, 
the water and the rubbing alcohol off. And like there's that corrosion. It's not actually not that much. It actually looks looks really gold and silver and uh, well gold, really nice. So after that, we're gonna put it back in. So now we're going to go and take this downstairs and we're going to test the system and see how it works. Be right back. Alright guys, time for the moment of truth. There's my uh, Nintendo right there that I'm going to be selling pretty soon. Um, it's all plugged in and uh, there's Kirby's Adventure, the game that I just cleaned. And uh, time for the moment of truth, time to see if it works. And there you go. Alright guys, I hope the, uh, this video helped you. Please uh, subscribe, rate, comment, share, and like. Have a good one.